G'day guys, um, <clears throat> this is a video on how to use, <coughs> excuse me, uh, on target precision calculator. Uh, so the first step is to go to the website, uh, www.ontargetshooting.com and download it. Uh, once you've downloaded and installed it, it will look like this when you open it up. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, open a new target file. So you click this button here, new target file. Second thing we're going to do is import an image. So this would be a photo of uh, a target that you have. Um, I've got some pre-selected here. So as you can see, the photo loads up. Alright, so we're at this stage. It's pretty easy so far. Uh, so to, to get the right scale in this target, uh, you need to know the distance of something. So, uh, some people use the distance of the squares. Uh, I put the ruler here, the uh, MOA ruler. So I just set the reference distance because I know on there exactly that is one inch. So I enter one, hit enter, boom, it's uh, scaled. So now I select my point of aim, and up here I select my shots, three shots. So one shot, two shot three shots, that's it, I only fired a three shot group. I unclick the input and there you go. You can see it's a 0.6 MOA group of those three shots. Uh, as you can see there's another group down here so we're just going to go new over here. It's a new group. Make sure that it's still set at 100 yards because that's the distance I shot at. Make sure it's still set at 308 because that's the caliber I was using. And the scale's already set so we're just going to set the point of aim which was this little S3. Okay, and we're going to set the three shots, which is one, two, and three, and unclick it, and there you go, just over one MOA. Alright, not my best shooting by far, but the bottom group was just a quick sight in, and then I adjusted up for the top group. Uh, so there you go, so that's basically how you use on target. Um, if you want to save the image to show other people, you just go up here and click File, you go Save Graphic As, and just save it as a JPEG, you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to type uh, target1.jpg save it, job's done. So yeah, that's basically it. It basically calculates your shots to give you a group average um, and yeah, that's basically it. It's pretty easy to use, a lot of people have trouble with it. I hope this quick video kind of just got you over that edge to try and use it and see how it goes. I'm in no way affiliated with this company, but um, I love the software, so I thought I'd make a video on it. Um, yeah. Alright, cool guys, that's it. Um, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.